Story of Wool I am very useful to the mankind. I save you all from chilly winters. The sweaters, socks, shawls etc. made out of me to keep people warm and nice. My clothes are very stretchy. Did you all recognize me? I am a ball of wool. To tell my story, I shall take you to Pehelgam, situated in Kashmir Valley. Ramu and his father have gone from Maharashtra to Amarnath Yatra. They have come to visit Pehelgam and Kadir is their guide. In this video, you will learn as to how wool is manufactured. The expanse of this valley is so big and look at the beautiful scenery. Bye. This is called Beta Valley. The movie Beta was shot here. Really? What a beautiful scenery. Ah, I remember the movie. Look, father, there is a shop of woolen clothes. Shall we buy something for mother? She could not come with us. Bye. My father rears sheep and we have a shop too. Shall I take you there? Okay, let us go to Kadir's shop. It is my father's shop. He runs the shop and my uncle manages the sheep rearing unit. Come in. I have the best of the pashmina shawls for madam and lot of woolen clothes. You can pick any of your choice at very reasonable rates. Pashmina, this is so expensive. I never thought shawls will be so expensive. The best quality shawls are the Pashmina shawls and they are soft, light and they are very good for the skin. You will not get any allergy. Please have a look. This is indeed a very soft shawl. Father, why is it called a Pashmina shawl? Let me answer it. This wool is derived from a special goat called the Pashmina goat and this is a high quality wool. Why did I think that only sheep provide us wool? Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Isn't this the poem father? How many times I haven't read this? Are you aware Ramu? There are many animals who provide wool apart from sheep. Goats, yaks, camels, etc. are several animals that give us wool. Yes, sir, you are right. Children, while Ramu, his father and Kadir are checking on the items in the shop, can you all enlist the number of items that can be made from wool? I am getting interested in the woolen things now. Father, I know that the sweaters we have worn are of wool, but these are all so rough. Why is it like that? You have observed well, the quality of wool depends on the animal from which it is produced. Wool is nothing but the hair of animals? Yes, but different animals have different qualities of hair. You are right, sir. Even in a sheep, there is rough hair near its beard and soft hair closer to its skin. So different products are made out of the coarse hair and soft hair. If my guess is correct, this carpet on which we are sitting is made out of coarse wool and this sweater out of soft wool. Look at this jacket. It is made out of yak wool. This is slightly coarse. There are different qualities of wool. This is only for 300 rupees. This means that lesser quality of wool is cheaper and coarse. And better quality wool is soft and expensive. This is absolutely correct. Very good observation. Like how we will have good hair if we eat well, 
I'm sure the quality of wool also depends on the food animals eat. Very correct. We feed our sheep pulses, corn, oil cakes and jowar so that their hair or fleece are of good quality. So much effort goes into the sweaters we wear. Children, can you think how I keep you all warm? Father, how does a small hair on the sheep's body become such a big wool ball? Sir, if you have time, please come to my house in the evening. We produce wool and then make shawls. I will be happy to show you the process. Thank you, Kadar. We shall surely come to your house. Sir and Ramu, you are welcome to my house. He is my uncle Ahmed Khan. Namaste ji. My son is very excited to know the process of wool production. We first shave off the hair of the sheep along with the upper skin. Does it not hurt the sheep if its skin is shaved? We get hurt if there is a small cut in our skin. The uppermost skin is dead, so it doesn't hurt the sheep. Looks like the sheep are happy that they are being shaved. It is hot here, so they must be feeling nice. Oh yes, we shave the hair once in a year and only during summers as it is hot. Yes, I noticed that the animals that live in cold chilly regions have a lot of hair in comparison to animals in the plains. Looks like it acts as a sweater to them. Yes, you're right. The sheep's hair protects them from cold. The color of the sheep is either white, brown or black. How come we have so many colorful sweaters? Do they color them? Yes. After we remove the hair, which is called shearing, we put the hair in the machine and clean it for dust and grease. This is called scouring. Then, when do they color the wool? We send the clean hair to factories and their burrs are removed and wool as per quality is separated. It is then dyed or colored. Do they make it into threads then? Yes, it is made into yarn and then rolled as woolen balls. Thank you so much for spending so much time with us. I will buy a shawl from here for my wife. She will definitely like it. Thank you, Chacha Ji and Kadir. I learned so much. Thank you, sir. It was our pleasure that you came here. बच्चों आशा है कि आपको यह वीडियो पसंद आया होगा इस वीडियो में आपने सीखा कि मैं ऊन उत्पादक जानवरों के बालों से